हेलो गुड इवनिंग हाय गुड इवनिंग टीचर हाउ आर यू वेरी गुड हियर रेडी रेडी फॉर द क्लास दैट्स ऑसम दैट्स ग्रेट न्यूज़ ओके हाउ वाज योर डे डिड यू हैव अ गुड डे यस टीचर इट वाज अ गुड डे Nice. After after finish my my day in the work, uh, I went with some friends to to a coffee. To have a cup of coffee. Yes. Nice. I had a relaxing time afternoon. Great. <laughs> That sounds and, really good. <laughs> what about you, teacher? Kind of. DC I would say thing is that we have some events coming soon so our day was really busy and the worst thing is that we had a meeting almost at the time we were supposed to go home so nobody's wow. happy about those meetings and <laughs> <laughs> and it was kind of stressful because there were so many things to talk about and then people were really mad because they wanted to go they wanted to leave and finally we left about a let's say half an hour later probably almost an hour we had been in a meeting for about an hour and a half and then i just came well had dinner and relaxed a bit and now wow. i'm here i can imagine teacher yeah sorry and No, it's all right. Sorry and, for it. <laughs> yeah, and the worst thing is that tomorrow it's gonna be a very similar story. We are expecting uh, yeah, a very similar story because uh, yeah, it's gonna be a busy day. We have well, one of those events that we were planning is today is tomorrow actually. So that's why. Well, mm -hmm. well good luck then. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> But then the weekend is coming. That's, that, a, good that's a good news. Yes, that's good news actually. All right, how's everybody doing? Mr. Mejia, Miss Marroquín, Miss Martinez, Miss Campos, and well, the Maris, Miss Marroquín as well, Miss Ayala. Hi, teacher. Hey, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Don't worry, don't worry, it's okay. Nice, no problem. Thank you, thank you for letting us know. All right? Yes. Good. Hi, Miss Kenya Ayala, welcome. Hi. How was your day? Hi, always busy. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> Busy, busy, busy. Really busy, yeah. I heard the other day you shared that your schedule starts very early in the morning. Yes. At four. Yeah. Oh my God. And finishes at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sometimes you don't sleep. Uh, fr Friday, no. Only on Fridays. Yes. <laughs> okay. Only. That's a different story. Instead of going out yeah. on Fridays, you sleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's great. At least on Fridays. Yeah. Tomorrow is Friday. <laughs> Thank <Finally>. God. <laughs> Thank God. Yes. I think we are waiting for Friday. Yes. yes. Well, anyways, that's good. That's good. That even though you have a hard time you have difficult days you are here that's great well not many people have joined the class today let me tell you <laughs> we are two four six seven people yes seven people so far okay so welcome we're gonna get started no problems we have an hour and we have to take advantage yeah in the meantime maybe the other people will will be shared, I mean, yeah, will be joining. Give me just one second. I just need to go to the beginning of this class, which is this one. Yeah, I almost went to the end. <laughs> so this is our class number 14. We almost finished actually. 
This is pretty fast. Well, how many classes are gonna be, I, teacher? There used to be sixteen, but this time I'm not quite sure because we finished according to the calendar on the platform. Do you remember? Yeah. So I think I on Wednesday. Next Wednesday, right? Uh huh. Mm hmm So there used to be. Now this time it's gonna be around seventeen, probably. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so at the end of this class, the students will be able to use affirmative and negative sentences as well as and answer yes, no, and WH questions using the pass of B. I know it sounds like a lot of information, but it's quite easy, you know, affirmative, negative questions, yes, no questions and WH questions. But everything with the verb be in past, okay, was where. So let's get started. We have this short, short, very short, short conversations, okay? Were you at the ball game last night? Okay, that is the title. And of course, here we have the structure for I, he, she, it. In negative, we contract was not, which is wasn't, right? And for we, you, they, were not, and the contraction is weren't. Okay, were you at the ball game last night? No, I wasn't. I was at the movies, right? So we're going to be answering according to the picture, okay? So he asked, were you at the ball game last night? He said, no, I wasn't. I was at the movies, right? So this is the example. Of course, let me just wait a second, wait. I'm not quite sure whether you are seeing my my screen or not. One minute, please. Okay, here. Mm -hmm. There we go. So I was not sharing the screen, right? <laughs> I was just talking, talking nonstop, and nadie me interrumpe. Nobody has interrupted. Please do it. <laughs> we thought it was on purpose, teacher. Really? To see if you were paying attention? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come on. Oh, teachers are human, and on Thursday, teachers are tired. <laughs> yes. Kenya agrees with me. All right. <laughs> okay, these are the objectives for the class. So rewind everything. Nothing happens. Okay, we are going to create affirmative and negative sentences, okay, using the past of be, which is was, where. And then, yes, no questions and information questions, but with the past of be, was, where as well. All right. This was the example, okay? And I'm like, why nobody says anything? <laughs> Oh my God. So, I, he, she, it was in affirmative, wasn't in negative. Wasn't is the contraction of was not, right? We, you, they, weren't, which is the contraction of were not. So, this is the example. Were you at the ball game last night? And he says, no, I wasn't. I was at the movies. Como que usted le pregunten, were you at the movies last night? Y usted dice, no, I wasn't. I was in class. <laughs> I was at home. Okay. <laughs> right? Okay, were you at the party last night? No, I wasn't. I was at home. I was working, right? Or I was sleeping. Okay, I was at home. I was at my parents' house. I was at my friend's house. I was at the office, whatever. So the place, right? So this is the model that we're going to follow. Of course, we are going to be applying this same structure to each of these pictures. For example, was Albert happy yesterday? No, what? <laughs> no, no, he wasn't. No, was. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. He was, was Albert happy yesterday? No, he wasn't. 
Okay. No, he was. Remember, were you at the ball game last night? No, I wasn't. Ahí vamos a tener que jugar con el subject, right? En este caso, como were you, directamente estoy preguntando tú. Pero en el otro caso, estoy hablando de Albert. Was Albert happy yesterday? No, he wasn't. He was the opposite of happy. He was sad. Exactly. So, was Albert happy yesterday? No, he wasn't. Punto. He was sad. Yes? Okay. For example, si yo les pregunto, was the teacher relaxed today? No, she wasn't. She was busy. <laughs> okay. Yes, as I told you before. So, were they at home this morning? No, we're not. No, they were. They were? They were at the school. They were at school. Was it cold yesterday? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was hot. It was very hot. Exactly. Yesterday was very hot. Yeah, hasta llovió en la noche. Okay. Was your grandfather a doctor? No, he wasn't. No, no, he wasn't. He wasn't. No, he was an actor. He was an actor. Was I a quiet baby? No, no, he wasn't. He wasn't. Ah, en no, este caso es como que yo pregunte, was I a quiet baby? Se me dice, no, usted no era. No, usted no era callada. No, you weren't. Yes? No, you weren't. You were? No, you. No, I see. Hyper. Crazy. All right, you were a crazy baby, a loud, noisy baby. Were you at home last weekend? No, no you... they weren't. No, they weren't. No, they uh -huh. weren't. Si yo les estuviera preguntando a ellos, ¿y cómo responden ellos? Incluyéndose los dos. No, we weren't. Exactly. Were you at home last weekend? No, we weren't. We were? They were at the beach. Ajá, vacation. Pero, exactly. Pero si ellos estuvieran respondiendo, dirían, no, we weren't. We were at the beach. We were on vacation, right? Was Gloria on time for her plane? No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. She was? She was late. She was late, exactly. The opposite on time is late. Were your children late for the school bus? No, they weren't. No, they weren't. They were? Early. They were early or they were on time, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Was the food good at the restaurant? No. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was? No, I think it wasn't. Yes. Awful. Was, well, it was awful. It was terrible. Yes. Yes, it was too spicy, it was cold, it was bad, right. Okay, so we're gonna practice with these pictures, okay? Let me make the groups, hopefully we can make some groups. Okay, here we have, how about six groups? I'm gonna share the image, don't worry. Just wait for it. No sé quién pregunta. Buen 
voy a preguntar yo, entonces. Um, was Albert happy yesterday? No, wasn't. He's sad. Yeah. Were they at home this morning? No, they weren't. They in the school. They were at school. They were okay. at school. Mm -hmm. estuvieron en la escuela. Right. Uh, was it cold yesterday? Perdón. Was it cold yesterday? No, it wasn't. It was hot, very hot. Okay. Uh, was your grandfather a doctor? Hi, mister. Tell me. Hi. Hi. Hi teacher. Is there any question? No, teacher. Okay. Um, Can you start practice? No. Yes, good. Sería darle respuestas a las preguntas que aparecen en esta imagen. Exactly, according to the pictures. Okay. Uh -huh. eh, por ejemplo, was Albert happy yesterday? Uh -huh. La respuesta sería no. No, he was. No, he wasn't. He, he was. He was sad. Exactly. Sad. Was uh, one person sad. Was, ¿Qué dijo teacher? He was sad. 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 Happy, the opposite is sad. Okay. All right. Uh, si quiero decir enfermo. Sick. Sick. Ah, okay. Sick. Es I C K. Yes, sick. Mm -hmm. Was sick. Mm -hmm. ¿Se puede decir? Yes. Was. Were they and how this morning? Number two. No. They no, they, they wasn't. Where? Where? No, uh, uh, no, they weren't. Was where? Was where? Peter. Hello. Que eh, okay, yo acabo de eh, casi ingresar a la clase, entonces no he entendido muy bien la, la dinámica. Ya están mostrando las imágenes, entonces la pregunta que está ahí la van a tratar de responder de acuerdo a la imagen que tienen. Number one, was Albert happy yesterday? Y lo que él refleja es que no, que no estaba feliz ayer. Entonces, te dicen, no, he wasn't. He was sad. Ya, tienen que decir lo opuesto. Ya. Ok. En el segundo caso sería, were they at home this morning? Y ustedes ven que no, que no estuvieron en la, en la casa. Ustedes dicen, no, they weren't. They were at school ¿ya? una persona haga la cuestión la otra hace la respuesta y, y después se intercambio ok perfecto gracias All right. noisy baby 
Sí. Está bien, ¿verdad? ¿Qué significa? Hola. You were, you, were you, were a, you were a noisy baby, que es como noisy es ruidoso. Ah, yeah. Y ahí lo no, veo no, con no. maracas, por eso. Sí, sí, sí. Eh, bueno, la siguiente. No, no. Were you at home last weekend? No, you weren't at home last weekend. I weren't a uh, bitch. Bye. Como yo le estoy preguntando, ¿dónde estuvieron? ¿Dónde estuvieron? Ah. ¿Y si estuvieron en casa el pasado fin de semana? Ajá. Entonces usted me tenía que contestar eh, haciendo referencia a la imagen. No, eh, nosotros no estuvimos. Estuvimos en la playa. Entonces ah. en ese caso sería no. We are not there. Sería. No, we weren't. No, es que we acordate weren't. de que vaya no. como hay dos personas. Entonces, el you se puede usar para ustedes o para tú. Tiene uh -huh. dos usos. Y entonces, como tú estás con otra persona, yo te pregunto, were you at home last weekend? Y como tú estás con otra persona, igual que la imagen, se entiende que te estoy preguntando por sí. ustedes. Uh -huh. Entonces, ahí es donde tú me respondes que, bueno, si te das cuenta, ellos no estuvieron en la casa, están en la playa. Entonces, tendría que... Was a, a quiet baby. Was I a quiet baby? Was I a quiet baby? No, no. Was. Eh. Was a quiet, quiet baby. Pero ahí dijo la teacher como que se respondía. Se respondía como que uno era el, el bebé, parece. Eso sí no lo entendí. Ay. Yes. Es como ah, que, como que usted le pregunta a su mamá, y yo era un bebé tranquilo. Ah. Mamá le dice, ah. no, tú no eras un bebé tranquilo, le dice, tú eras un terrible. Entonces un le monstruo. dice, no, you weren't. <ríe> you were really noisy. <ríe> ah, ah, sí, va. Uh -huh. Ajá. Fuiste, ah, ok. Como que bueno, usted okay. pregunte por usted mismo. Was I a quiet baby? Y su mamá le dice, no, you weren't. Okay. You were noisy, you were hyperactive. ¿Cómo se pronuncia <risa> quiet, teacher? Sí, quiet. Was a quiet baby? Was I, was I a quiet was baby? Was a quiet baby. No, uh, you weren't. You weren't. No, you weren't. You were? Eh... Noisy. Noisy. You were noisy. ¿Y por qué were y no was? Porque I, you, we, they siempre va a ser were. Y... Espérame, espérame, espérame. You, I was, no, you, ajá, en el caso de que I was, ah, pero sí, you were. Está... Entonces cuando estás respondiendo, tú eras. Sí. Uh -huh. Eh, eso tenemos duda, no si quiere la practicamos. Uh -huh. was, a, was I a quiet baby? A quiet baby. Eh, no, no. You were. You were. No, you were. No, you were. You were. You were. You were noisy. Noisy. Uh -huh. Okay. Gracias. Were you at home last weekend? La respuesta. Yes, I was. Today, I was happy. I, I am happy. I am, sí, se me olvida. I am happy. But yesterday, I, I was, I was sick. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> sí. Sí, sí. Were you at home 
this morning? No, they, they weren't. They were. You, uh, Ceci. Hmm? Yo. Yo. Ah, perdón. Ah, sí. Entonces sería, eh, no, I, I wasn't. I was at office. La número ocho. Were you Where, children late? Uh, no. okay. Were you children late for the school bus? No, da igual, sí, que no, no van tarde. No, no, da igual. No, da igual. Da igual. Early. Early. Yeah. On time. Y la nueve. Was the And the restaurant. Uh, the restaurant. Oh, okay. No. No. It was. It was. Was it? Uh -huh. No, it was. Eh, asqueroso. The food ¿cómo is sería? bad. Asqueroso. The food is bad. <laughs> ¿Cómo sería asqueroso, teacher? It was awful. It was terrible. Okay. It was terrible. It was awful. It was poor taste. It was. <laughs> it was bad. Mm -hmm. It was Horrible. bad. Horrible. No. Was uh, an, an actor. No, he, no. What your grandfather a doctor? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Era tu padre un doctor? Uh, yes. No, he wasn't. Yes. Was I a quiet baby? Uh, no, I no I. Ah, no, es al revés. No, you, no, you, no, you weren't. Were. Ajá. You were a terrible baby. <laughs> were you at home last weekend? Uh, no, they weren't. They were uh, on the beach. Was Gloria on time for the airplane? Uh, no. She wasn't, uh, she was uh, late. She was late on the, were your children late for the school bus? Uh, no, they weren't, uh, they were uh, early. Was the food good at the restaurant? Eh, ahí teacher está con nosotros oh, it, it eh, una consulta here. en el caso de la de la, de la comida no, nueve correcto mm -hmm. podemos decir eh, no the food wasn't si sí puede decir the food pero si quiere sustituirlo por el pronombre usted usa it no it ah. wasn't Uh -huh. Ajá, 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 va, ah, ok, va. Las dos posibilidades eh, son correctas. Bueno, ah, ok. Uh -huh. Pregunta, Ana. What the food good at the restaurant? Uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, the food was uh, terrible. Uh -huh. okay. Vaya, Ana. Me gusta, le pregunto otra vez. Ok. Was Albert happy yesterday? Eh, no, he... Vaya. Vaya, pregunto yo. Sí. Sigamos. Was, was Albert happy yesterday? No. He was. No. He was. He was. 
Gastado. He was dad. Two. Were they at home this morning? No, they weren't. Uh, were were at were they at school? Three. Was it cold yesterday? No, it wasn't. It was very hot. Okay. Four. Was your grandfather a doctor? No, he wasn't. He was. He was a uh, actor. Five. Was I a quiet baby? No, I wasn't. I was a baby terrible. Or no, you you uh -huh. were you were a terrible. How was it? <laughs> How was the exercise? It was terrible. <laughs> it was difficult. <laughs> or it was it really was hard. enjoyed. Ah, it was good. It was great. It was interesting. I enjoyed it. Okay. I enjoyed it. <laughs> nice. Okay. Was the exercise easy? No, it wasn't. It was really hard. <laughs> <laughs> or yes, it was. Okay. Good. Let's see. Uh-huh. Was Albert happy yesterday? Miss Maritza? No, he wasn't. He was very sad yesterday. He was very sad. Nice. Miss Cecilia, were they at home this morning? Uh, no, they weren't. They were at school. They were at school. Nice. Miss Jamie, was it cold yesterday? No, it wasn't. Was hot. It was hot. That's right. Let's see. It was very hot, actually. Okay, Miss Marta, was your grandfather a doctor? No, he wasn't. He was uh, an actor. He was an actor. Good. Miss Kenya, were you a quiet baby? <laughs> I'm just like, no, que me dijo. <laughs> ¿Qué le ha dicho su mamá? No. Were you a quiet baby? <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> I was a loud baby. I was a loud baby. I was a noisy baby. Okay, nice. Miss Media, can you see the image? Le preguntamos a Miss Edith. Were, were you at home last weekend? Or maybe they are not here. Mr. Vidal Mejia? Yes? Yes. Were you at home last weekend? No. No. They were. Ajá, en este caso, como si usted estuviera incluido ahí. 
Usted diría, no, we weren't. No, we weren't. Uh -huh. We were? We were um, at the beach. At the beach. We were at the beach. And re right. relaxed. And relax. uh -huh. We were really relaxed. <laughs> okay, Miss Daisy. Okay. Was Gloria on time for her plane? Sería no I wasn't. No she. Ah no, no she was there. No she was and she was. Oh, she was late. Ya se había ido cuando llegó a la terminal, okay? Good. Mr. William, were your children late for the school bus? No, they were. Mm -hmm. They were uh, on time. They were on time. That's great. And the last one, <laughs> Mr. Irving, was the food good at the restaurant? No, it wasn't. It was awful it was and awful. salty. And, and bad and rotten <laughs> and disgusting. <laughs> okay. All the bad and negative adjectives. Okay, good. No questions. I have any questions? No questions? Everything clear? For me, right. it's clear, teacher. All right. Let's see. Teacher, one yes? question. Okay, tell me. ¿Cuál sería la pronunciación correcta de relax? Relaxed. No. O sea, la palabra playa. Playa. Ah, uh -huh. the B, I, I, I. La I es un poco larga. Para no confundir con la mala palabra. <risa> mire, mire, ¿Sí? teacher. Ajá. Beach. Eh, recuerdo una frase con esa palabra hace ya un, unos cuantos días atrás. Ajá. Bueno, hace unos añitos. Pues. Y en misma moda, se lo voy a contar por... Es gracioso, pero también la ignorancia de uno. <risa> o sea, la camisa blanca con letras rosadas, así de antes, bien bonita. ¿no? Entonces le digo yo a la muchacha, este, ¿y aquí qué dice? Le digo, ah, me dice que le gusta ir a la playa y que no sé qué. Y la compraba. ¿no? Cuando andaba en la universidad, un compañero de inglés. Y me dice, mira, ya sabes qué dice en tu camisa. ¿no? Ah, de la playa, no sé qué. Me dijo la mujer, le dije yo así, como me gustaron los colores y todo, la compré. No, ya aquí me dice esa camisa, dice, aunque sea pero <risa> no soy fácil y yo anduve la camisa todo el día así en la universidad en el puto hasta que él se dignó en acercarse y este me sacó de la ignorancia yo pues bien apenada por la camisa ¿verdad? pero que nice de él super nice en, ajá entonces este qué importante es este saber el, para que no pasen y, ese tipo y de es, cosas y es completamente digamos Entendible que haya sucedido porque años atrás uno no tenía lo que les digo que hoy tienen el internet en la mano y puede perfectamente consultar en el momento, right? Pero ah, sí, y, y, y Beach, este es confundible de la palabra. La verdad, cuando ya se tiene conocimiento del idioma, no, mucho. no, no, porque B es como una I más larga y el último sonido no es el mismo porque la otra palabra tiene una T. Ah. Tiene una T y la otra es una I corta Ajá. y tiene una T. Sí, es que gracias a Dios estamos en estos cursos. Ya no me Y otra tan cosa que también es que, en esa... <risas> que no es tan malo porque también significa, por ejemplo, si yo digo yo tengo una perrita, o sea, en realidad es un dog, pero es female, pues podría ser llamada así. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. no. Ajá, lo que pasa es que la hemos contextualizado nada más con el, la conversación negativa. Ah, Pero es correcto. beach. Let's go to the beach. Beach. Yes. Y 
en eso, en eso tienen que enfatizar. Long Te y, yes. Teacher, incluso esa palabra he escuchado que la, los gringos la pronuncian como con E y no con I. Es como bitch. Exacto, es, es short, es bitch. Ajá. Uh -huh. Right. <ríe> so, esta es una I larga. Acuérdense que las... Como las combinaciones de sonidos vocálicos se crean muchos sonidos vocálicos, around 15. Entonces, there's a short and a long E. And let's go to the beach. So it's like, I'm exaggerating, but it's a long E. Okay? So don't worry too much. All right, let's continue. Thank you for the question. Let's see. Move on. Okay, you already practiced the conversation. This is the explanation you might have seen before. So, I was born in Korea, in negative, I wasn't born in the US. Remember the contraction wasn't, it was not, right? Weren't, were not. You were pretty young, you weren't very old. She was 17, she wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. The were in Korea in 1998. They were in the US in 1998. Okay, we're going to annotate. We're gonna have the answers, okay? So, Melissa is talking about her family. Choose the correct verb forms, then compare with the partner. My family and I, Was or where? My family and I, so nosotros, we, right? My where? family and I, where? where? We're all born in Korea. Ya, se, ya, la, ya está aquí dada, ¿verdad? We was we weren't. We weren't, right? So here we say we weren't. Okay? We weren't born in the US. I was or I were? Was. I was. I was. Okay. I was born in the city of Incheon. And my brother was. was. And my brother was as well. Was born there too. My parents wasn't or weren't. 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 My parents weren't. I'm sorry. Weren't. Born in Incheon, they were, they was or where? Where? They, they were. were. Exactly. They were born in the capital, Seoul. Okay. So this is just to review the use of that. Let me clear all the drawings and hold on. Let's continue. Okay. To ask questions. Yes, no question. Vamos a iniciar con was o con where. Y para hacer information question, definitivamente vamos a iniciar con la palabra que, o de la información que queramos saber. Where, when, what, who, why, Bye. right? Okay. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were your parents more in Asian? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Where were you born? When were you born, right? So, where were you born? I was born in Korea. When was he born? He was born. Aquí no podemos decir yes or no. Aquí tenemos que dar la información que se nos está pidiendo, right? When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. So esta es, para que sepamos, distinguir entre una yes no question y una information question. Las yes no question inician directamente con el was or where. Yes? Si yo le pregunto a Miss Marita, were you at school in 2001. ¿Estaba usted en la escuela en el 2001? Uh, Let me see. <laughs> yes, yes, I was. I was yes, not. I was. Yes, I was. I, I was at university. I was at the university, really? Yes, I, I started in university. 
I mean, that year, in 2001. Yes. Oh, nice. 2001. Okay, great. Were you at the park yesterday in the afternoon? No. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't at <laughs> work, wasn't. right? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Entonces, <laughs> yo estoy iniciando todas las questions con were you. Because it's a yes, no question. Yes. Pero en cambio, si yo le digo, where were you last weekend? ¿Dónde estuvo el fin de semana pasado? Where, le estoy preguntando where, ya no me puede decir yes, I was, sino que where were you last weekend? Y me dice, I was at my parents' house. I was at the beach. I was at home. Yes. So ya me está dando la información que le estoy solicitando. Yes. Ok, vamos a resolver estas questions, algunas van a ser yes, no question, van a iniciar directamente con was or where, y otras que ya tienen when, where, when, who, yes, of course, lo vamos a hacer en los grupos en los que estamos trabajando y les comparto. Sorry, sorry teacher. No problem, tell me. Eh... ¿Qué información es la que podemos pedir para preguntar directamente con was, where? Si estuvo o no estuvo, si era o no era. Yes, uh -huh. <ríe> eso es todo. Porque acuérdense que el verbo tuviera ser o estar, y en este caso, en pasado. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. si yo le digo, was your mother very strict when you were a child? ¿Era su mamá bien estricta cuando usted era niño? Yes, she uh -huh. was. Ya, ya, ya no le estoy preguntando solo de usted, sino que de su mamá. Yes. Was your school beautiful? ¿Era su escuela bonita? Yes, yes it, it was. It was. Uh -huh. was your best friend uh, a neighbor when you were a kid? Por eso generalmente es para referirse a su pasado, obviously. Porque el was, where, es be, in past. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Thank you. All right. So we're gonna solve this exercise. We're gonna go to the breakout rooms and we're, I'm gonna share the image, all right? Supongo que where a su fecha de nacimiento o cuando ajá si sí, nació en esta ciudad perdón en la ciudad ajá esta ciudad. naciste y en el, naciste tú en esta ciudad y es de responder sí o no bueno ahora uh -huh. la siguiente es es como cuando Ah, sería when were you? Uh -huh. Siempre es you, were similar you? A, la, a la anterior, ¿verdad? When were you born? Y la segunda. Es you, es ustedes. Ajá. Entonces ahí sería. Ellos, ¿verdad? Ellos, ustedes, ellos. Siente ya si sí, es opcional, es opcional si tú quieres agregarle más información. Te toca. 
Vale, entonces la siguiente es. When was you born? I ¿verdad? was born. I, I, yes, I was born in San Salvador. Eh, no, sorry. I was born in 1988. Porque es. Okay. ¿Cuándo? ¿When? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, I was born, ¿Qué año uh -huh. naciste? Yes, I was born in 1988. Sorry. Vale, eh, es la siguiente. Okay, where... Tiene que ser where... Where your first English teacher. Ajá, ¿quién fue tu primer maestro de inglés? What nationality? What nationality? Where your, your first English teacher? English teacher. ¿Qué nacionalidad tiene? Ajá. Was, eh, what, what, y was, esta última. What was he or she like? Eh, tengo dudas. ¿Por qué? What, what was? ¿Qué dirán, qué dirán what, en español? Ah, hey, verdad. Sí, son dos. Eh, what were he mm. or she like? Veamos. Ya le digo. What, what? Ajá, uh -huh, what were he or she like? Sí, pero tendría que ser quizás, ¿verdad? ¿eh? Mm, quizás were. Uh -huh. What were? He... O era él o ella. Ajá. Uh -huh. What square? Sí, Ajá, la otra la bien. Y la otra. Solo eso era. Solo. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't eh, Ay, usando no nuestra propia información, ¿verdad? Por right. ejemplo, yo le pregunto a Maritza, le pregunto a Maritza, ¿Were you born in, in this city? ¿Qué sería? ¿Qué sería? ¿Qué nacionalidad? ¿Qué was your Fierce. English teacher. English teacher. Mm -hmm. La 10 sería was también. What was, was, what was, was, was he? Or she like. Or she like. Mm -hmm. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes, tell me. En la 6 sería no, was, was or were. Number 6. Yeah. Were you yeah. and your family? Como Where ustedes. Where you are. Uh... Uh -huh. Where you are. Thank you, Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes, great. Okay. Let's double check. Hold on. Let me move this. All right. Were you born in the city? That's already completed. When? Where? But when I were you born? Right? Number three, where? 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 Where were your parents born? When? Was. Was. When was your mother born? When? Uh -huh. Was. 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 was your was. father born? Was. You and your family in this city last year? Where? Where? Were you and your family in the city last year? Next. 
Where? Where? Okay, were you at this school last year? No, I wasn't. <laughs> yes, I was. Yes, I Number eight. Who was? Who was? Who was? Who was? Your first love, now your first English teacher. <laughs> your first, now that's another story. No, you won't tell me that story, okay? What nationality? Was. Was. Uh -huh. What nationality was your first English teacher? I don't know why this includes so many examples with your first English teacher. Hmm. Number 10. Was, what was, was he? Was, what was he or was. she like? Right. What was? Interesting. You can answer these questions about your, I mean, about yourself, right? <laughs> With your real information. <laughs> because of the time, we're not gonna do it, but it would be so interesting to know. Were you born in this city? Not everybody's in the same city, but we can say, were you born in San Salvador? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Were you born in Santa Ana? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't, right? When were you born? We already practiced this. The year, right? Were your parents born? Where were your parents born? Oh, they were born in Santa Ana, San Miguel, in La Unión, whatever. Okay. When was your mother? The year as well. When was your father born? The same thing. Were you and your family in this city? We are not all in the same city. Were you at this school last year? Yes, you were, right? Last year, you were at this school? At this courses? Oh, yes. yes. No. No, you were. Ah, last year, yes. yes. So you started in <laughs> November. <laughs> no, I, sta I started uh, in like sep September. September, around September. Yes, right. because we were waiting like ah. a month till the next model. Of course. Okay. Interesting. I got it. Okay. Who was your first? No, that we're not going to talk about that. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> All right. Because of the time, we're going to stop here. All right. Keep practicing. Keep practicing the past of be was where and i'll see you tomorrow god i'll know tomorrow next week actually next monday yeah. have a monday long weekend monday bless see you monday, teacher bye, have teacher. a good weekend bye teacher bye 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 b